You want your five minutes of fame, babe? No. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to get you. I'm hoping this will work, you guys. I, <laughs> I started the video to share with you guys. I wanted only the birds to come through, but then hubby popped in and as always trying to get my attention. So I left that little part in for you guys. But here's the chandelier that I ended up putting the little charms hanging from, the wind chimes. So we stuck the wind chimes to a chandelier. And this is what we'll be doing in, the pro in this video. I'll be sharing with you guys some speed, not too fast. Um, I'm going to talk through the whole thing and maybe you guys will be inspired to make one for yourself. Uh, these sh chandeliers, no, what are those called? Lampshades. Oh, I've got about three dozen of them that I picked up on the side of the street in a box, just random. <laughs> Been around with me for about five years and I finally, I finally got the itch to do it and I'm glad I did. Um, I hope you can hear my voice over all the birds. I wanted you guys to hear the birds and you know just real life come real life sound coming through and I'm so focused on that shiny anything shiny focused on it actually had a bird land very close to the chandelier I mean to, to the wind chime um, I think he wanted to steal my shiny stuff I was like no go away bird no poking at my things it's okay if it would have taken anything I could have replaced it anyways probably would have looked awesome in his nest if that's where he was taking it so yeah I am so all over this though like I want to do a second one already I think the second one though I will not be doing any stenciling on it just gonna leave it a bright color I'm thinking of doing a mint one an aqua color teal one but anyways we're almost there it's I just can't pull away from with the camera. I just keep focusing on the glass beads and the shinies. Oh, love it. Okay, I hope this voiceover is doing quite well or okay. You noticed in my last one there was static and movement and all that stuff. We'll see. So I tried to spray with the bottle, but most of my bottles, the spray stuck because of my neglect of not cleaning them out the way I was supposed to every time after I'm done using it. So I wanted to leave that part in and show you guys that it's okay. Let's pour it into a bottle and use a paintbrush. It works the same. You might be using a little extra but actually it's way vibrant and it did spread quite well. I think I should have gessoed it and it would have worked even better but we didn't gesso. It bled. Of course it bled because it's a canvas material on the lamp. But that's fine. It's perfectly fine. I thought I was going to leave it yellow and then I got brave and started trying to use the stencils. You'll see that I did have a bit of a hard time with the stencils because the lamp shade is rounded. But we worked through it. The first stencil actually came out quite well. I think it was the second and the third one that didn't come out quite well. But we fixed it. We work around it. It's not like it's a piece of paper and we can throw it out, but what we could have done is actually painted over it and start it all over, and that would have been perfectly fine. Um, why did I use these sprays? The reason I used the sprays instead of using an acrylic is I thought I was going to spray multiple colors on the lampshade. I decided not to do that. Um, I think I just veered into, let's do more of a vintage boho, more of a classic boho. So that's what I ended up doing. And um, you would have to take your time. I just mixed up two browns to get the color that I got here, which in the end, if you stick with me, you'll see that I ended up messing with it even more. Just because I messed up quite a few times on the stencil, I had to somewhat camouflage it and make it work, and we did. You're going to hear my mouse moving and you're going to hear my chair squeaking. As I'm watching the video on movie, my movie, Movie Maker, and doing the voiceover. So you need to watch what you guys are watching. 
I could have cut parts out, but I wanted you guys to see that although it was difficult, it's still doable. Now, there are stencils that are made for glass that will bend much easier. I think I'll try that out next time, but I'm in no rush to do it again with the stenciling, but I do want to make another chandelier, mm, whimsical chime, just, I'm, I think I'm just going to stay away from the stencil though. If I do anything, I'll be freehanding some flowers on it. So, I had lots of the brown left over, so what I decided was to age the lamp some more. And try to cover up some of the, the mistakes that I made. And make the mistakes be okay. I think, uh, I think we did it though. I like it. It looks like a rusted piece of metal since I have so many lampshades I think that I I have enough room to play and mess and even if I didn't or if you don't you can paint over your mistakes or make them work out it's a perfect project for spring I'm not too sure where I'm gonna hang it where are you guys seeing me hang it there's already something that goes there. Uh, the lantern that you've seen on the table, that usually hangs up there. So right now there's not an exact home for the wind chime. I kind of want it indoors and then I want it outdoors. But you know what I'm deciding right now as we speak is uh, since I'm going to make more, I'll make my decision then which ones stay in and which ones go out onto uh, the garden tree, my lemon tree actually. And I decided to make it look even more rusty and added some teal blue. Random places as always, I never have a plan. I actually could have stopped here and would have been happy, but we continued and played and played and played. That's what art's about. Just express yourself and play, right? Oh, what are you guys drinking? Are you guys having any tea? Are you guys having any sippy sippy? Something. Or are you guys just chilling? Are you creating? <laughs> just wondering. And so I decided I was going to mess with the inside. Um, didn't really have to, but since I had so much leftover paint, you guys know how I feel about that. So I tried to throw the paint everywhere and anywhere. Then I decided to get a whitewash color and also an egg birch color and throw that in also. Just random. The brush that I'm using is a really messed up brush, but it worked out. It gave it gave an effect that I like. It, it took the stencil back and brought other stuff forward. Also, I think that the next one I make, I'm going to ha add um, some feathers and some doilies. We'll see what we can find. I know I've got plenty of things to use. I think we went for uh, the an eggshell blue. I think it's called Robin's Egg. And we're just scrubbing it around. I've got some exciting videos coming soon also that I need to edit. So here I'm showing you guys um, some copper wire, any gauge will work, whatever you feel is sturdy enough for your project. And I'm going to take advantage of the metal that's already inside of the lampshade. And just free forming some curly cues there. That one I'm going to close up because the bottom part definitely I'm going to hang stuff from so I can close it. Those on the top I'm not closing completely because I think that I, I might have to 
that I might have to um, take them off. I wasn't sure. And now we're going to work on the chain to hang from. I thought it would look cool like that, but then I figured that's going to be a lot of work to just wrap it around. I could have done it. Really, really could have. That's just an old necklace I picked up from um, some swap meet. So instead I decided to run it through that hole, find a big bead, and freeform um, a connection between the big fat bead and the existing chain, the existing necklace. Because the, the big round bead that I'm placing right there, it's wooden, is going to stop the chain from going through that hole I just showed you guys. There we go, just hanging it like that. That way when the wind blows, it's more free to flow around and move around. Then I'm just adding some random yarn that I have on my table and just making a loop there. It was good enough, it's good enough. Okay, so right here I'm using my new webcam. Well, it's not brand new, it's used, but it's new to me. Uh, my husband got that for me. A friend of his uh, gave it to us. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take advantage of that clasp right there. I'm going to try to. We'll see. So yes, I'm on my webcam here. Because I needed to hang it and I really wanted you guys to see. So those are the pieces that we worked on in the previous video. And this is where their home went. This is their new home. Look at that. That's so pretty. So excited. Watching the video with you guys and doing the voiceover, I get excited. I'm so excited. I hope I really inspire you guys. And we're just going to do hanga, hanga, hanga stuff. Hang lots of things. So I put these first because I wanted the lampshade to balance itself, so I lined them up in three, which is a good luck number anyways, right? Guess what? My husband's doing a YouTube video on my channel. How exciting. He's making me something, and I want to share with you guys. And he wants to share with you guys because he supports me, and he supports all of you guys supports this channel and really he really wishes that everybody would be be uh, inspired by these videos so we're we're gonna share a home DIY for my door I'm so excited so stay tuned for that and then I have some chain that I've you know done myself just on my spare time and I decided to hang those did I have that planned out no sure didn't but it worked out. And I'm just going to lift it some more so you guys can see. Then I think we're going to work on hanging something towards, or at the bottom actually, some old motorcycle keys. They are the, motor, the keys to my motorcycle when I was a teenager. I still have them. Yeah, I used to have a little scooter and those are the keys to my scooter I want things to hit against each other and, and make sounds so they weren't making enough sounds so I decided to add some bells and then that, that still wasn't making enough sound so once I add the bell to the other side I end up adding two more bells so all together is four bells, two on each side. Yes, I'm excited to share with you guys what's coming in my art room. And it's handmade and it's custom to you guys will see. Just just keep 
keep an eye out. You guys will check, we'll see, check back here and there and see if which video is coming next. Actually, after him doing the video that's a custom piece for my art room, which is a surprise for you guys, he said he, he, he kind of liked recording, so he's going to do a second one. <laughs> I kind of figured that he was going to get addicted to uh, DIYing and sharing. He's always DIY things anyways. So why not record it and inspire you guys? So here again, I'm just doing walkthrough you want your my little porch where it? I usually have dinner. Sometimes I'll have brunch because this girl is never awake for breakfast. So it's either brunch or dinner, late night, Skyping with uh, friends. There's my little Benini. And there's my garden that needs to be cleaned up. If you, if you pause here, you'll see some of the things that hang from my lemon tree. And all those things I made. So hopefully in the future I add some more. And more and more and more and more. I think it's fun. I think it's fun for the neighbors and for the people that walk by to see things hanging from your tree. Especially when they're handmade, right? Uh, they're far enough from the fence where nobody can reach in and, and jack me. No jacking me. <laughs> So yeah, see the little lampshade right there on the table? That's, that has the home uh, on the, the, the wind chime that I made, so. So we gotta find it a home. Like I said, when I make the other ones, then, then I'll figure out which ones come in and come out. And then the little tin you guys see back there just holds random candles. Oh, I love it. Don't you guys like it? Really, really like it. I hope it inspired you guys. And I'm going to leave you and let you guys just watch. And if not, um, you know, I hope I inspired you somehow to make something. You never know what's going to come out from the things that we share with each other here on YouTube. You know, Lori inspired me to make those little chimes and look, the whole thing grew into something else and now I want to make more. More, more, more. So, maybe you guys will make something. I know you guys will make something. <laughs> well, I'll catch you guys later. And, um, oh, also, the there is a group on Facebook called the art game and it's open to everybody you don't have to be a creator on YouTube you can be just you be just you ask to join and come join me and a few friends on Skype and what we do is we give some words depending on how many of us there is one word each and then we just draw it however we'd like to draw it and then when we're all done we share what we drew it's a lot of fun. There's some pros, painters, and then there's just freeform painters, which I am. And we draw or, or paint or watercolor, whatever you choose. It's just a lot of fun. And that's on Facebook and it's called The Art Game. Come join us. You might actually be able to hang out live with me. That would be a lot of fun to meet some of you guys or all of you guys. Okay, so you guys have a wonderful night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, you know. I appreciate you guys so very much, and lots of hugs and kisses. Bye-bye. Why are you voting for him? Yep. I'm voting for Trump. Huh? I want Trump. <laughs>